part of his uh, regional development fund with Shane Jones when when he was on the other side. Um, reinvigorated the hillside rail works down here in Dunedin, of which case they're doing the work. And now they're talking of severing this rail link between the two islands. So how do you get <laughs> how do you get the things so, that are working on at hillside to the north yeah. island now? So again, I think so. I think it's a combination. Like, there's a little bit of like politics, or whatever. But I actually think that both within Treasury and within the NZTA, there's like a culture that is anti-rail and that is pro-highway and doesn't, you know, and is just into building the highways wherever, even when they don't make sense. And um, and that she received some advice from Treasury that was like skeptical of Kiwi Rail. Rail's case for these ferries and and then just you know I'm going to be tough and oh, I'm not going to give Kiwi Rail more money um, and I don't know the extent to which they really understand the consequences of these decisions and I don't think they're popular like I think losing rail would be like quite catastrophic for New Zealand especially in the 21st century when we have to massively reduce our carbon emissions from transport um, but, but even just the cost, like the cost of moving things by truck is greater. Um, if you, And if you don't have an alternative, if you don't have coastal shipping, if you don't have a viable rail service, then there's no option and people have to move stuff by truck. And it's not just, it's the cost for the people moving the goods and it's the cost for the roads, which are constantly having to be rebuilt. Um, and then there's the carbon emissions and the environmental costs. But I think when you've got the CEO of Main Freight going, this is a bad idea. Um, well, he's smart. Okay, he's really that, smart. That, that's a big problem. <laughs> he actually is really smart, and Main Freight are not involved in that um, transporting New Zealand, our, okay, which used to be called um, the Road Transport Forum, because they're smart. Like they care about logistics. They run a successful business globally, and they've seen how stuff works overseas. And they know that just throwing a few more highway lanes into Auckland or Wellington isn't going to solve the problem. So, um, yeah, I think we, I think we should be listening to the CEO of Main Freight. And, um, and in your opinion, do you think this government understands how interconnected things are? I, I honestly think that, um, a lot of these politicians, sorry to say, my colleagues, who I wish, you know, were genuinely curious and interested in solving problems, I think they come with um, a, like a certain ideological point of view. Clearly, there's a lot of people in government who are, um, you know, here to serve the interests of their donors. And then there's some who are just have certain ideological positions, um, like, tax for rich people is bad. Um, benefit, <laughs> benefits for people who've lost their jobs, bad. Um, cars good, motorways good, rail bad. Public rail company, bad. Let's make it private. I, th I think it's like, and they, they haven't really like thought through because they also say we care about cost benefit analysis and cost effectiveness, but clearly they haven't done the math on their own policies. So. Mm.